adolescents and young adults account for the largest proportion of COVID-19 cases and play an important role in the transmission of the disease. Adolescents and young adults with COVID-19 may have mild symptoms or none at all. They tend to have more contacts and follow social distancing and other control measures less consistently. One in five people in the U.S. is between the ages of 10 and 24. Underestimating the role of this group in COVID-19 transmission dynamics threatens national control efforts. To improve the national response to COVID-19, policymakers, public health officials, and researchers must address the unique needs of adolescents and young adults. Adolescents and young adulthood is a period of social, emotional, and brain development that results in prioritizing short-term rewards over long-term risks. Young people should be a priority in the design, communication, and implementation of COVID-19 measures. The short-term benefits of adopting COVID-19 control strategies for adolescents and young adults should be emphasized. Consider research and surveillance data by age, as well as social, immune, endocrine, epigenetic, and clinical factors. Avoid punitive messaging that describes adolescents and young adults as irresponsible superspreaders. Instead, focus on the positive reasons why adherence to COVID-19 mitigation strategies is consistent with youth preferences and why it is good for them. Adolescents and young adults prioritize messages providing specific rather than general guidance in preventing SARS-CoV-2 transmission. Provide specific guidance for caregivers on communication and monitoring of adolescent and young adult behavior relating to COVID-19 prevention. Evidence-based best practices for a safe return to in-person teaching at schools and universities are needed. Consider robust quarantine strategies for students traveling from out of state. Encourage attendance of in-state universities where possible. Use high volume, high frequency, and symptom unspecific testing of at-risk adolescent and young adult populations. Provide batch testing in school and university settings. Young people are likely to live with others, increasing the risk of household transmission, particularly in socially and economically vulnerable communities. Develop culturally appropriate, feasible, and effective COVID-19 mitigation strategies for these households. Adolescents and young adults are a key population in developing novel COVID-19 prevention methods. This group should be included in COVID-19 trials for vaccines and novel prevention and treatment modalities. The COVID-19 response has disrupted social development, educational progress, and access to life opportunities, with important implications for youth mental health and well-being. Encourage parents to spend time with their adolescent or young adult and help them to engage in remote schooling. Adolescents and young adults can work in contact tracing, community-based testing, and public health messaging. The U.S. response to COVID-19 among adolescents and young adults will shape the country's trajectory for years to come.